Mel and I'm a third year physics major at the University of Guelph. When I first started my undergraduate degree, I was always super hesitant on how to approach professors when I had questions. Should I email them? Should I go to their office hours? Should I address them as doctor or professor? And I found that this hesitation actually resulted in me not going to ask for help when I needed it. So today we're here to get these questions answered on how we should approach professors and TAs when we have questions. When should they ask? I, uh, it's funny in the middle of lecture how many times I ask, is that clear to everybody or do we have any questions? And people don't ask anything. To me, it's always best to approach it in lecture. I, and, and a big thing to get across is to not feel silly or singled out to ask the questions to the professors. Um, I want you to engage me in some way and ask me what we should be taking up because it makes my job a lot easier, right? There might be things that I just assume that you know or things that I assume I explained that I actually didn't explain that well, we could go over again. It's a little bit. I think that there's a lot of pressure. Um, a lot of different students have a lot of different pressures and uh, uh, difficulties for their courses and so on. I don't want them to be intimidated by like knowing a particular way that they should approach me. Just approach professors. I promise you that we are not horrible people that um, don't believe the stories that you hear about professors that we do evil things to students. We actually are really keen and helpful and want to help students. So just come and talk to us, come to our office hours, come see us after class. And uh, it's part of our job to help you to make sure that you get to where you need to get to. Questions anytime are good. In lecture, after lecture, office hours, even if you stop me in the hall, I certainly don't mind that. Uh, even email, like I often get emails uh, from a student who will say, I can't do question 12 or something like that. Uh, that's fine, and, and when I'm available, I'm happy to reply. I think what really helps me is if I know what question 12 is. Believe it or not, I don't actually carry that textbook around with me all the time. Uh, so if you tell me what the question is, or better yet, if you have your work, if you email me a picture of your solution, I can look at that. Maybe it's, maybe it's something like a math mistake. You forgot to square a number. I can point that out right away. But uh, if you don't give me something to work with there, then it becomes a little more involved of a process. Um, I think that it's important that they're comfortable with, uh, with however it is. If, if I have students that come and introduce themselves to me after class, awesome. If a student wants to say hey uh, through email, great. Um, you know, I hold a lot of office hours in both individual and group style, so I have a lot of students that come by uh, in that respect as well. And I'm more than happy to engage and work with students in any of those sorts of ways. So I just really want to encourage people to actually make that step uh, because I like to get to know my students and who I'm working with, even though we might be in a huge class. One of my pet peeves for office hours is when people come in with the book open to a question and they say, oh, it's just question three, and they put it down and start asking me questions about, about that, that issue. I don't know what question three is. I haven't looked at that book. <laughs> give me a minute to take a look at it and give me a minute to go through the actual study guide or to look through the question with you and explain to me what you're thinking. Let's work through it together rather than coming in under the assumption that I know every single one of the questions that are in the book that you happen to have with you. So you come to us at our offices, you come to us before or after lectures. Uh, try not to come in the window right before a lecture because we're often last minute people ourselves and so we're preparing for our lectures. Uh, if you see us in the hallways, wherever you can find us, well, it's pretty friendly. So. so my tip and trick is when to go and ask your professors questions. So if it's the day of your midterm, probably not the best time to ask a question. So this goes back to being prepared. So make sure you're going over the material as it's being taught to you. If you know the midterm is next week, start going over it now so you can go to office hours and make appointments with your professors because on the day of the midterm, you probably won't get the answer that you're looking for. Also, if you're asking for reference letters, again, go in advance. You don't want to give a professor two days notice to give you a reference letter. Uh, you should give them at least a week, preferably two weeks. 